Good morning, that's me, packed up and ready to go, start another day. Look at the colors. Sun is slowly rising. After walking through the farmland and fields, it's time to start the climb. And they have such a view for breakfast every day. There's no justice in this world. And this came handy. I refreshed myself. I feel like after shower, refreshed, ready to go. Last 10 kilometers before the town and proper breakfast. So this part is great, even, even if the walk is on the pavement, but soon I'll turn right and I think the road changed to the dirt road. Then I think I will pass Green Bothy, I'm not sure about that, but I've seen something on the map. But anyway, 7 kilometers to the town. So this is perfect illustration how windy it is today and actually how windy it was last few days. So maybe <clears throat> because it's uh, last day, maybe it's time for a short summary of the Rob Rob Way. The trail is very well way marked uh, with exception of this extension, which is no way marks so all. Uh, any indication of the direction whatsoever. I used paper map and first time I used uh, hiker app. It all worked well. I used hiker only when I was in a serious doubts and uh, my map had not enough details. My paper map didn't have enough details to to make a decision about the turn or, uh, or direction I should take. So, <clears throat> so that's that's a good combo, and uh, it was first time for a long time I I didn't walk with uh, a GP, GPS receiver. I mean the standard tourist one. It's second half of September. Weather is. Fantastic. I had the best weather I could have. <clears throat> but even if the weather is such great, I haven't met any hikers. Well, on the second day I think I met two. Otherwise, completely deserted. Plenty of sources of water. You can hear one in the background. Some great views diverse trail, little bit of bog walking, in general very good trail, one of the best in Scotland I would think. Starting descent to the town and in the farmer, a car I think, possibly hunters, can you hear it? Is the front side of the body and inside I won't be coming in but yeah pretty basic more like a lunch hut but you can sleep here if you want this is the direction I came from what a glorious day and beautiful valley and I just discovered that I missed three kilometers of today's hike so instead of uh, how much was it 16 I've got I've got 19 kilometers to 
into the town, but remaining 15 remains as it was, at least for now. There is <clears throat> there's one more thing I think I didn't mention. And if you if you're coming by car and you're thinking where to leave it for the no almost a week, I won't give you the name of the car park, but I would encourage you to call Pitlochri Tourist Center. There are very nice ladies there and they will advise you where to leave the car. Well, I hope that will be useful. Coming from there, I can see this. I want to go there. Then there. And almost missed this. Alright. I need a break. It's time to pick up a few ticks. Yeah, ticks. I forget to mention that I had ticks every single day of this walk. So, something to consider. Through the jungle. Guess what I see? Lunch. It's 1 p.m. I'm leaving Aberfeldy after lunch and donuts from Coop. Well fed, have energy for the last 15 kilometers. The path leads along the river and we'll follow this pattern for a few miles at least but the day is uh, as expected very very hot even for summer in Scotland it would be considered as a heat wave but it's beautiful Ah, it's a quite pleasant <coughs> walk through the uh, woods, close to the road, as you can hear. I'm halfway to the um, to the village. From the village to the Pitlochri, there is well, there is a hill on the way. So halfway is up, halfway is down. I think I'll stop at the village and push for the last bit. Nothing is more motivating than the sight of the finish line and I am so close. So that's <clears throat> first stage of the climb. I have to say quite pleasant. Although, the day is so hot and then even, even in the shade I'm sweating like crazy and this is the easier, easier part of the climb. Soon will be open area and steeper climb so I don't think I'll be filming that I'll just focus on surviving you know it's hot when this plant makes this sound So I'm just entering the forest that I'll go through to the Pitlochri, my Robrobway adventure.
comes to an end and I know that I'm not a very expressive person and also my English vocabulary isn't the most impressive one but I just want to say that I had most fabulous time on this trip everything played better than planned and I'm well basically I'm, I'm, I'm speechless it's uh, it was great time the best time I had for a long time uh, I'm very pleased with the trail I'm very pleased with the distances I I did it was 20 miles every day well, everything went well so it was great <laughs> so thank you very much for watching of course I have to recommend Robert Way I have just positive memories from this from this path I recommend um, extended section thank you if you have any questions leave them down below any comments highly appreciated till the next time that's my bridge of joy Pitlochri That's me checking out another trail in the bag.